Hey guys, it's Lissa. Um, I am here to film another video for you. It's been a super long time. Um, I'm not even going to apologize for it. You know, life has just been a little crazy I with job stuff. So anyway, I'm here today to film an empties video because I have a big bag of empties and I can't stand having that junk around. Um, Jay has, Jay the other day was like digging through to find toiletries. We had like extra toiletries in our closet and he was like, do you seriously have this big of a bag of empties? And I was like, no, he didn't say empties. He said of empty bottles. I was like, yes, I need to film an empties video. So anyway, it was on my mind. Oliver is here snoozing. Say hi, boo-boo. Um, he's just relaxed. He's been playing. He went swimming at the park earlier today. So if you hear any sighs or snoring, that's Oliver. Um, okay, I'm just going to get started. I'm not going to go in any particular order. Um, I'm just going to pick it up, briefly tell you what it is, if I'd repurchase it or not, and why. Um, and that's it. So I'm just going to get started. The first thing I have here is Dove Dry Shampoo. Um, normally I tend to, what did I use before that I loved? Oh, the Tresemme. Um, that's like $3 or $2. Um, but I just saw this on a YouTube channel and I thought I would give it a try. It's pretty good. I would repurchase it. I would say it's probably my second favorite dry shampoo to the Tresemme. Is it Tresemme? What is that? It has like the swab. I'm sorry. So it's my second favorite to the Suave. It was good. It smells good. It lasted a while. It worked. It was good. The next thing I have is a hairspray. Every time I have an empties video, I have a hairspray. So this is the Herbal Essences Volumizing Body Envy Hairspray. Um, it was fine. I mean, I tend to like a little bit lighter of a hold um, just because I don't like my hair to be like stiff and sticky. Um, and this leaves a little bit of a sticky film, but it's fine. It's not, it's not bad at all. I didn't mind using it, but I prefer like a little lighter hold. I think my favorite hairspray is the, um, black Tresemme can. That one I really like. I want to try the, um, Elnet hairspray, but I have some other hairspray that I want to use before I would buy that. So, um, this was fine. Uh, the next thing I used up, this is hilarious and might require an explanation. Um, I use up a bottle of Irish Spring Body Wash. So, is that made for men? Yes. Um, but Jay really doesn't like this stuff. It sort of irritates his skin. He has, like, a reaction to it. And we had an extra bottle. Because I think I mention every time I film an empties video that my mom is amazing at giving us, like, toiletries every time we see her. So, um, Yeah. I just used this. We were running out of like women's body wash. At this point, I'm using shampoo as body wash just because, I don't know, that might be gross. I told my brother that and he was like, ugh. It's soap. I don't see the problem with that. But if you do or you have thoughts on that, leave a comment below because I want to know what, what people say. I just have extra bottles of shampoo that I need to use up and I'm low on body wash. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that below. Be nice, though, please. I mean, I don't smell. If I smelled, I would I would buy body wash. I mean, it's not that we can't afford it. I just want to use what I have. I'm on this kick. So, anyway. Next thing I used up... Oh, this is the last of the female-appropriate body wash that I use. It was nice. I prefer these gel-type body washes like this to the... Um, like the lotion-y ones. I don't know if you know, like the cream, like cream ribbons and stuff. I prefer the gel. Um, I just like it better. But yeah, it was good. That smelled good. Um, ooh, this was a big feat. I used up, this is the Heal Rescue Superior Moisturizing Foot Cream. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this. My mom is the one who got me on this stuff. Um, she like swears by it and I love it uh it's really great for like 
cracked heels and even elbows and stuff and I love this especially during the winter because you know you just get dry and ugh, it doesn't feel good and I use this every day on my feet so started on another bottle um okay hydrogen peroxide not gonna review this but I used it up um baby oil gel now this I've been using as makeup remover and I don't know I'm not crazy about it I'm not gonna lie to you I just think makeup remover is so expensive and does not last long so I've been trying to find some alternatives for makeup remover um, I've started using Vaseline like um, it's sort of like a a mimic of like the Emma Hardy type cleansers like those gel cleansers obviously it's not to that level but um, I like Vaseline better actually I, I find it less messy and greasy like this um, I don't know Ugh, I'm not a fan of baby oil I mean it worked but I'm gonna probably use Vaseline from now on so uh, I used up my multivitamin woo and that was like almost almost half a year, half, over half a year worth of daily vitamins. You know, keeping myself healthy. What can I say? Um, oh, this I was pumped to use up. The Jergens Natural Glow Fo Foaming Daily Moisturizer. This is old. I had this, oh my gosh, so long. I think it's been maybe, maybe a year and a half since I bought this. I never use it really, only before like weddings or events so I used it up before Jay's cousin's wedding I honestly didn't even really care that much about being tan I just wanted this out of my kitchen of my bathroom cabinet so but yeah it was okay I like this but I want to try some other moisturizers or other like tanning products it's okay it's fine sometimes it leaves streaks but I read that um, you can remove like those splotches and streaks with um, rubbing alcohol and I did it and it worked so it's fine I'm not a big like fake tanner person um, okay face wash this is the L'Oreal ideal clean um, this was fine probably won't repurchase it I was really excited about it when I got it I thought it was like a um, Clarisonic type you know the face wash that comes with the Clarisonic love that face wash but I was looking for like a similar product that's cheaper this was okay it smelled a little like medicinal to me I'm not crazy about it probably won't repurchase it um Moroccan argan oil for my hair this lasted me so long uh, I can't even remember probably almost two years this lasted me I love this stuff I just put it on my hair when it's wet from the shower um, I, I will repurchase this. Not right now, though. I have some other, like, similar hair oils that I just sort of need to use, but I will repurchase this in the future once those are used. Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Like, I love this product so much. It smells so good. It's so, like, hydrating on your skin it relieves like the sunburn like kind of the sting of a sunburn as much as I try like I always have sunscreen on you know every once in a while you miss a spot and that's what happened when Jay and I went to the Outer Banks so this was awesome on the sunburn and I hardly peeled at all I love this we'll repurchase this over and over and over and over again I love this stuff okay deodorant not gonna waste your time reviewing this it was great it was awesome um, oh so sad that I used this up this is um, Camille Beckman glycerin hand therapy and passion pear this I've had for quite some time I oh my gosh maybe four years I use it often like every morning when I get ready this was just good memories like my dad bought it for for me and I think my mom um, she got one too when we went on we went to like a trip to Buffalo New York and I just oh, 
I just love this. It smelled so good. I was sad to I was sad to use it up. Um, apricot scrub face wash from St. Ives. This I love. It's a great exfoliator. I would repurchase it, but I'm trying to use up like the um, exfoliation type face washes so I can get started using my Clarisonic again. Um, it just does the same thing. I feel like it's too hard on your skin to have an exfoliator and the Clarisonic for me at least. So I won't repurchase this since I have the Clarisonic. But if you don't have the Clarisonic, this is a great reasonably priced exfoliator. And I liked it. Shaving cream. Woo! This was fine. Not going to review it. I mean, I don't really use shaving creams that much. My mom just gave this to me. I like using them, but... I don't know. So I'm fine with using soap too. It's kind of a treat when I can use these. So whatever. It's fine. Um, ah, yes. This is my favorite dry shampoo. Yes. I'm glad it's in here so I can show you. Um, I love this dry shampoo. This is the Suave brand sh um, dry shampoo. It just smells really good, like citrusy. Oh, I love that. And it's not expensive. I think it's like $2. So Yes, this I will definitely repurchase. I love that stuff. Um, Sensual Amber Body Wash. This is like my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I was sad to use this too, but it was a treat to use it while I had it. And now I move on to using shampoos as body wash. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Nail Polish Remover. This is fine. Oh, I do have something to say about this, though. I've been using the non-acetone kind, and I switched to the acetone nail polish remover, and I love it so much more. Like, this I had to scrub a lot, and it was just hard to get nail polish off. I love the acetone kind. I'm sure it's not good for you, but I don't really care. I really like it. Um, what else did I... Holy cow. So much stuff in here. Um, I used up these two perfumes. This is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. And then this is the Mary Kay Exotic Passion Fruit. This I just had like left over and it was good. It was, it smelled good, but I love the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. Um, I probably won't repurchase it just because I want to try some other things, but I definitely really love the scent and it did last a while during the day. I might repurchase it. I don't know. I'm reconsidering now. I might repurchase that. We'll see. Um, okay. I used up a lot of mascara. I'm not really going to go through these because you can watch them in my mascara video. My top, I think it was top seven, top, top best mascaras. I don't remember. But I'll link it below. And you can find out the reviews of these there. But yes, I used up those. Um, I also used up, uh, sad day, my Revlon Creme Brulee lip butter. I love this. I would totally repurchase this, but I have some other lip butters that I'm going to use, um, that I like too, for sure. But I think this might be my favorite color. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I love that. And I will be repurchasing at least one lip butter. Um, also used up the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue. Meringue. I am obsessed with these NYX Butter Glosses. I'm trying to use up. I have some other glosses right now. But I will definitely be repurchasing a NYX Butter Gloss. I think I want to get the Tiramisu one. And then, or Tiramisu, I'm sorry. Um, I might get like a pinkier shade. I like the Meringue. But I also have another one on right now that I like. So anyway, you'll find out. Um, I used up, what other lip products? A Rosebud Salve. I love this and I will definitely be repurchasing one of these because it's a multi-purpose product. Love this. And then a Burt's Bees Lip Balm Pink Grapefruit. This smelled amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. Jay didn't like it but I loved this, and it was awesome. I might repurchase this. We'll have to see. Used up a CarMax. Very sad. You know I love me some CarMax, but I'll definitely be getting some more of this because I'm addicted. Um, okay, almost done. I used up a floss. Not going to waste your time reviewing that. 
used up my allergy medication. I don't know why half of this is in here. I should have just tossed that. Whatever. Used up my oil of Olay under eye anti-aging eye treatment. I've been looking for um, an under eye treatment for nighttime. I liked this. I don't know. I'm never sure if they're working. If you find something that you think works, comment below because I'm really on the market for some under eye creams because that's the worst spot for me. I need help in that area. Um, okay, I also used up a Glam Glow sample. This stuff is amazing. I questioned the YouTube reviews on this. I thought it was just like a hyped product. No, this is awesome. My skin looked so good after this, but it's so expensive. I don't know. I might purchase this or ask for it for like a gift, maybe a special thing for, I don't know. We'll see. But it's pretty good. If you see, like if you're on Sephora and this is a sample there, because that's how I got this, you should definitely get it because it's pretty cool. It works really well. My skin looks awesome after. Use up this Milani Liquid Eye Eyeliner. I really liked this. Um for like natural looks. I wasn't crazy about it if I wanted it to last all day. Um, it just kind of would smudge and stuff, but it went on, re it glided on really easily. So I really like, I did like this. I might not repurchase it though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I used up some samples because I've been trying to do that and I used this Ole Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. This was fantastic. Like the way it felt under my eyes and it just smelled really good. It was very like, my under my eyes it really made a difference and there's not a lot of stuff that I feel like makes a difference under my eyes. So this is amazing. I probably won't purchase it though just cause oh, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if I can justify buying that. But And then I also used up the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. Um, this I really liked, like I like the smell of it and I definitely noticed a difference in how smooth my hair looked um, when I was using this. This I might consider purchasing actually. I really liked this. I also used up the Michael Kors Gold sample. Um, honestly, not a standout. It was okay. It was fine. I just probably wouldn't buy it. I mean, I just had it and traveled with it. The last thing I used up, which was super sad, it was like, I love this product. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I think this is in, yes, it's in vanilla. I absolutely love this product and I might be repurchasing this. It lasted me quite some time. It was expensive. I think it was around $20, which is a lot for, you know, a makeup product that is disposable. But um I just felt that it worked so well under my eyes. I love that it's multi-purpose. Like I would use it to like cover blemishes and use it under my eyes and I just absolutely love this product. It covered things so well. It lasted all day. Um, and it lasted a long time. I think I got it in October and I just finished it using it and I've used it every day. So um, I love this and I will pro most likely like 95% sure I'll be repurchasing this. So um, those are my umpties. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it to the end, uh, comment below and tell me you made it because you deserve a uh, award for that. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts on the whole shower gel, shampoo shower gel debate. Um, if you have any suggestions for any under eye products that I should be trying. Um, and I will see you next video. Bye.